Uh, look, before we get back into the news, there was a lovely video that went around last week of a train carriage in New York spontaneously breaking into a Backstreet Boys song. Here is yeah. the shaky but uplifting footage. The one I mean, it's amazing, right? It's joy. It's pure joy. Yeah. I'm a little conflicted. Mm. Huh? Part of me thinks, you know, good on them, spirit of joy and togetherness, and part of me wants them all arrested. <laughs> <laughs> if you were on that train, you'd be like, shut the... Yeah. Do you know what they need? The metro. Yeah. So we can just read the metro, for fuck's <laughs> sake. It's good thing about the chew beer, in it. Yeah. People don't talk no to one. each other, let alone start singing. <laughs> 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 you ever had anything like that happen, Sarah? No, I wish it would. I would join in straight away. As long yeah. as it was a Backstreet Boys song. <laughs> well, see, Alex and I had a bit of a problem with that. Yeah, my, I didn't want to be negative about it, because I'm meant to be being positive. I just don't think they commit to it enough. I think if you're mm. going to go in all in, like, balls to the wall, Backstreet Boys, you go all in, yeah. you dance, you sing, no... With your balls to the wall? <laughs> <laughs> it's very tricky. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why I kept getting chucked off the tube. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the, the coincidental thing is, after, after the show, we, we all stay around and have a few drinks here at the studios, and a couple of weeks ago, Backstreet Boys came on, and everyone... I'd gone by this point. You had you. gone at this point. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone else in the green room broke into it, and then someone started filming it, so we had our own version of it. And I'm going to say, Alex and I gave it way more than they did in the train carriage. What do you think? Have a look. <laughs> Things about, two worst things about that video yeah. is one, I genuinely didn't remember it happening. <laughs> two, you that video. <laughs> two, now that bit of me dancing's gone on telly, I'm going to lose my benefits. <laughs> Do you know what I think the worst thing about that video is? What? You don't drink. You experienced that so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Because hammered. of that, we are going to end tonight's show by breaking into the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Didn't sound entirely right. Uh, <laughs> all right, back to the news. Mark Cox said, "Oh, now this is a story that happened today. Is it okay that the Dalai Lama has said that if his successor is female, she needs to be attractive?" Yes, much like a suitcase full of porcupines, this is a tricky one to unpack. Today, <laughs> this footage emerged. I, I enjoyed that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. It took about five seconds to understand what was going on, but in the end, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Today, this footage came out uh, of an interview in which the Dalai Lama bluntly answered a question about his successor. You once said that you would um, be open to uh, a female successor. That also possible. You also told um, one of my colleagues that that female must be attractive, otherwise it's not much use. Okay, <laughs> yes. Can you see why that comes <laughs> There's one time. If female dilemma comes, and it should be more attractive, if female dilemma will work, <laughs> the, uh, dead people, I think, prefer not see uh, a dead face. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, wow. think, I think we now know the answer to the age-old Buddhist question, what is the hound of, uh, sound of one hand clapping? It's this. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, I don't think... He's turning into that priest from Father Ted, Father Jack, who just says, <laughs> <"Fet."> <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the Dalai Lama is the 10 out of 10 hottie that he thinks he is. Oh. <laughs> Take him seriously. I think that's why he has his arm hanging out of the road. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be alluring. He, is he going to turn up on Love Island? <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of him doing like a kind of Dalai Lama Tinder, just going no, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. Well, His well, Holiness was given another chance in that interview to explain himself, and he just kept digging a bigger Holiness. A lot of women would say that's objectifying women. 
And it's about who you are inside, isn't it? Yes, I think both. Real beauty is inner beauty. That's true. But we human beings, I think the appearance is also important. <laughs> I love the fact that there's a moment he goes, real beauty is inner beauty. You think, oh, he's back to regular Dalai Lama, and then he hits you back in. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I mean, do we take into account his track record? Do we damn him completely or do we go, hang oh. on, he's, he's been pretty good thus far? You don't damn him. I think this could be fun. Like, yeah. he could be like, I think the next Dalai Lama should be Kelly Brook. Pass <laughs> 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 it on. Yeah. Also, it was amazing watching people piling on the Dalai Lama saying, and I quote, a lot of people saying, we, should, we now have to cancel the Dalai Lama. What? Well, it's first, Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't cancel him because he'll keep coming back. <laughs> also, here's the thing, though, like, he has said the next, if, you know, if the Dalai Lama is, is female, then she, she has to be attractive, but he reincarnates as the next Dalai Lama. Mm. So he's the one that's going to come back as the next Dalai Lama. And if karma has anything to do with it, it will make him come back as a woman. And there's every chance that he'll then be ignored by every man in the room. He'll be saying profound things like, beauty comes from within, and they'll be going, yeah, right, can you make the tea, Dalai? And halfway <laughs> through that, he'll go, oh, fuck, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I gave him that accent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cancelled now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just made the Dalai Lama into the Count from Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> One reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs>